all white. Why am I Benny? Okay. He wants to chill in the back. Huh. Oh, you better not fucking jump, you fucking me. No! <laughs> hmm? <laughs> Love you too. Head. <laughs> hey guys, how's it going? Mouse here, and uh, been thinking about doing this video for quite some time since this release <laughs> showed up on Gamescom. Killer Clowns from Outer Space: The Game. Now, got so much to talk about, and <laughs> th this is something that like I really wanted to exist because I was a huge fan of Killer Clowns from Outer Space. I've watched it many, many times. I think it's on like Amazon Prime right now. And uh, I've <laughs> I've always been... Uh, this is actually one of my favorite comedy horror movies like of all time. Like if it's all kills and murders and all that stuff, but jokes in between, it's just fantastic. And now the fact that we're getting it as a video game is beyond me. And obviously the executive director of Friday the 13th, the game. So we're gonna get something along along the lines of a asymmetrical multiplayer horror game. I can't fucking wait for this shit. I found it on Steam. I didn't even, I, I signed up for the beta and everything, but like I never really had a chance to actually look it up on Steam. And I noticed that it was right here. They even put like a clown emoji in it and everything. Like I gotta, I gotta show you guys what I'm talking about. It's actually pretty fucking sick. Like see like, it, I, yeah, I already added it on my wish list, but. Planned release date, <laughs> they have a clown emoji right here, early 2023, add to your wish list. So, we're going to look in between all this, the recent events and announcements that they have for us for this game, and I'm just going to read it through and then have my own thoughts on it. So, uh, yeah, let's get started. So, right now, obviously, it says release date in early 2023, add it to your wish list, and obviously shows the, the developer and the publisher, all that nonsense, survival horror, horror, you know, multiplayer violence, all that bullcrap. So, uh, plan your own alien invasion and harvest humans as the iconic killer clowns or gather a team of survivors to fight the extraterrestrial threat. I don't know why I can't read. And I'm going back to school. I'm, I'm, <laughs> be scared for me, guys. <laughs> In a game based on the 80s cult classic movie, welcome to the new crazy take on the asymmetrical multiplayer horror experience so like yeah they have some cool photos oh that's sick like that's that's so cool like you can see <laughs> you see spiky with the uh with the actual balloon dog and is alive and is sniffing out the the survivors now that that's that's pretty cool we got some photos here that are just like kind of glimpsing through all the things that we're going to expect from this fucking um awesome game i i can't really i can't wait for it now i'm gonna be brutally honest with you guys i never actually played friday the 13th the game i never did i've i've had it on my wish list on steam i even had it on my wish list on the nintendo switch because apparently i had i actually had more friends on the switch that had the game but um i just never got the chance to buy it i was kind of obsessed with Dead by Daylight, so <laughs> it, it kind of took a turn on me, and I just never had a chance to buy it. But the but I was always a fan. I've seen so many videos, so much content of it. It's hilarious. The game looks fun. Just never had a chance to actually buy it. And plus, even if I did, I don't really have friends right now that are playing it. So what can you what can you do? So I'm sorry, my, my phone's like going off on me right now, and I'm just kind of getting annoyed. All right, I'm flipping my phone. At least it's on silent, so I can't hear shit. So we're gonna scroll down here. This is like, dude, there's guns. There's actual guns. Like, like this is. It, it's still kind of like I kind of like. I'm just surprised. I'm I'm baffled. I'm I'm really really like baffled the fact that like, this is a game now. Like it's it's bugging me out. And there is a fan base, and I'm actually part of that fan base. Like I've always been a huge fan of it. I I I even, you guys can tell. I I have a big ass Slimmy the Clown head. Like, 
that's a mask. Like I, I was, I was slimy last Halloween. Like it's, it's crazy. Like I was always fans of these clowns. I always loved the movie. I've seen it so many times. I even showed it to my older brother because he never seen it. Like it's just, it, it's one of my favorites. So now we're gonna scroll down. I'm, I'm done stalling. I'm sorry. Um, join the Discord. So yeah, Killer Clowns from the Outer Space, the game, an asymmetrical multiplayer game, uh, well horror game based on the iconic '80s film. And the battle between Killer Clowns and Citizens and Crescent Cove, whatever. Uh, team up and use the wits to harvest humans. Blah blah blah. So yeah, you can join their Discord. I'm actually already on the Discord, and you'd be surprised how many fans that love this game. And they always post up their favorite gifts. They always post up their favorite scenes, all that stuff. It's crazy. Um, send to the clowns. Take a roll on the iconic Killer Clowns. Cooperate in a team of three. Utilize outlandish abilities. Hunt humans with zany weapons and plan your own alien invasion to successfully harvest the population of uh, Crescent Cove. Um, okay, so yeah, protect humanity. So uh, fight back as the team of seven brave citizens of Crescent Cove. Pick your class. Explore the city of valuable loot and weapons. Avoid getting captured by clowns and try to survive or sabotage the alien invasion. So there are two options here. There are actually two options into this game. Now you can either A, kill the killer clowns, destroy them no matter what, and obviously you gotta pop their noses. If any of you guys that don't know or never even seen the movie, pretty much, uh, well, just letting you guys know, if you guys are really interested in this game, you know, just watch the movie, it's pretty cool. But uh, I'm not gonna put a discretion or any of that bullcrap, I'm just gonna say it. Uh, what do you expect from someone that is a fan of Killer Clowns? We're gonna talk about the movie as well. So I'm just gonna tell you right now, um, these clowns can die, but from popping their noses. Pretty much, you destroy anything from their nose, they're good. But they're they're completely, like, uh, they, they don't feel shit when it comes to sh shooting them in the chest, the heart, anything like that. Like, any areas, you can shoot them even directly in the head. Nothing happens. They're completely, like, fine. They won't die, no nothing like that. But, if you pop their nose, they completely spin around, and then confetti blows up. That's it. That's how they die, technically. So, um... Yeah, there is that option. You can kill the killer clowns, or B, try to try to sabotage the alien invasion. So as as they do the alien invasion, they pretty much like you know zap you, and uh, they can put they can trap you in a ball, or they can actually put you in a um, cotton candy cocoon that you've probably seen in the trailer where you see one of them just like holding uh, a cocoon type thing, and uh, they can actually drink out of it with a straw. It's so weird. They trap you in a weird cotton candy cocoon and then they drink your blood out of it it's so crazy but but you can sabotage alien invasion so i assume that they destroy like you know any any type of like i don't know uh the carnival type things i don't know anything around if uh they have gadgets or weapons and stuff you can sabotage all that we don't know for sure we don't know how it's going to be but so far yeah you can either kill them or you can either sabotage the alien invasion so, uh, welcome to the town. Yeah, Crescent Cove is a sprawling arena for unique 3v7 fights between clowns and humans. That's that's something that I didn't really expect. So, if we're going to have a 3v7, I assume 7 survivors, of course, and 3 killer clowns. That's beyond me. That's something that I didn't really expect this game to even have. Uh, usually when it comes to asymmetrical, uh, horror games that we've had so far from Dead by Daylight, from, uh, Friday the 13th, etc, etc, it's usually, uh, five, it's usually the, uh, collection of five people there, and, uh, four humans, and then one killer, usually that's always the case. Right here, they're trying to make something a little bit more different, now we don't really expect nothing out of this, we can't, we don't, we can't really even picture it, we just know for a fact it's gonna be really fun, and maybe it's going to be even more stressful than the usual, you know, 3v1s that, not 3v1s, that's usually if someone DCs, but <laughs> we're, we're going to be usually, like, we usually get comfortable with the four, like, the 4v1, you know, aspect of asymmetrical horror games that we've played so far. Uh, you know, four people have to survive, and the one killer has to go and find the survivors. Now, when it comes to this, there is three clowns. So even if we find one clown, there is going to be another clown somewhere else. We don't even know for a fact. We don't even know how big the overworld is. But so far, the arena is going to be big enough to be a 3v7 fight. So it's going to be something beyond me. Can't really expect nothing out of it. 
Uh, I can't wait to be actually both. It, when, when it comes to me playing these games, usually I like to spicing things up when it comes to being a killer. Let me, I'm just going to say Dead by Daylight for an example because you guys know me for a Dead by Daylight streamer. Uh, usually when it comes to games like Dead by Daylight, I like to play a lot more Survivor when it comes to playing with my friends. And if I'm by myself, I like to usually solo queue and just obviously playing killer. Now, when it comes to this, this is something that is more experimental. I, I would love to play both. And it's just like, I want to know how it goes when it comes to playing with seven people. That's seven people that you're with. That's that's a lot at that point. And, and there's going to be three clowns roaming around with their fucking ray guns and all this other shit. And, and balloon dogs sniffing you guys out. Like, it's, it's unbelievable. It's something that I didn't really expect them to actually do. This is... This is sick. And I actually, I kind of even love how they kind of displayed all this on Steam right now. Like, they kind of show you these small little gifts. And uh, I love the fact that you kind of see uh, Spikey right here. Again, with Spikey. Spikey the Clown shooting his ray gun at one of the survivors. And you kind of see the cotton candy forming into a cocoon right now. Now, um, now there is, a, there is one thing I feel like when it comes to taking people down. Maybe it can play out like uh, VHS maybe because obviously there's no hooks around or anything like that so like when they take you down they take you down uh if if they put you in a cocoon maybe you can escape out of it i'm not entirely sure but um this 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 looks insane right now involving the horror is unique approach to hide and seek gameplay customization and respond systems pvp uh ve actually yeah my <laughs> pvp ve <laughs> dynamic objectives leading to multiple match results killer clowns evolves the online horror formula in new ways that is true though so i think that's it actually yeah that's it so as of right now this is something that is completely out of our comfort zone this this game is going to be playing out in so many new ways something that maybe some people can't even get used to who the hell knows but so far, the the maps are going to be huge, which is awesome. Crescent Cove is going to be a big, big map to the point that there's seven survivors and there's going to be three clowns roaming around trying to find their every move to make this invasion even more <laughs> diabolic. And I, I just can't wait. This is something that I've been meaning to actually show you guys for quite a while and actually talk about my own thoughts and my own you know priorities into this shit. Uh, it's so dope. Randomly generated map layout on a multitude of tactical opportunities for both teams. So like, so I just read that right now. I realized I didn't read this part. And yeah, so it's not just Crescent Cove. I feel like it's going to be the map. So far, it, the beta is going to give us that map, but there's going to be more into it. This is like unbelievable. Like, it's crazy the fact that I'm actually talking about this game, let alone the fact that I'm actually a huge fan of the movie. So the fact that this is a game. It's crazy. I'm still trying to think right now. How is the 3v7 going to actually work? It's crazy. This is going to be a team effort type game, guys. This is not going to be like a, a, a soul, like a solo queue type thing. This is something that like, you got to play with teams. You got to play with your friends. You got to play with something. And this game, I can't wait for it. It's going to be awesome. I think it's going to be worth the 60 bucks, hands down. Uh, see all the updates. It, yeah, it's pretty much it's a done deal. <laughs> Killer Clowns from Outer Space. The game it's crazy that it's crazy that i'm saying that right now killer clowns from outer space the game that that just baffles me all right so that is it if you guys uh have your own thoughts on how this game is going to go or how this game is going to be you know played out what we're going to expect from the 3v7s how we're going to expect from how this game is going to be what are what are our tax when it comes to um what are <laughs> i'm trying to like i'm trying to make uh, sense for you guys i'm sorry i'm stuttering a little bit um what are the tasks when it comes to uh, sabotaging uh, the alien invasion, like what are we supposed to actually do when it comes to breaking their shit? <laughs> um, it's dope. It's awesome. So far, I still didn't get to see Slimmy. I don't see anything of Slimmy the Clown. We know we got Shorty, we got Spiky, you know, we got we got Chubby, we, we got them all. But um, so far, there are some. I, I didn't get to see Slimmy the Clown yet. Slimmy is actually one of my one of my favorite clowns. So. I hope he's there. I feel like he's going to be there. They just didn't do the full on, uh, you know, they didn't, they didn't give us everything. Once again, they just announced it in Gamescom and I got hyped. You guys already seen it. So 
we just have to just wait and see but um if you, if you guys have any thoughts on how this game is going to go and how this game is going to be played tell me your thoughts down below in the comments and uh also let me know how excited you guys for uh how excited you guys are for this game because i'm i'm fucking stoked i'm i'm happy right now i i can't fucking wait but until then if you guys want to read it yourselves and actually look through it check out the check out the steam check out the steam account just go on steam you know go to the store like i did type in killer clowns you find it right there read what you got to read see what you got to see and also uh join join their discord join their discord because they got they probably have like a lot of fans that are actually saying some stuff that probably you guys never even thought of but until then guys hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys enjoyed this full-on analysis of killer clowns from outer space the game i check you guys out later with more updates in the later future take it easy guys have a good one